Okay, so we just got finished cooking our pork loin and veggies on the griddle. And I've still got the griddle going at low heat. And now I'm going to show you how I clean my griddle. Because like I said in that video, I love cooking on my griddle. I do so every chance I get. But I tell you, it's really satisfying cleaning it up too. So first thing I do is I take my scraper and I just start working all the excess food built up down into the grease trap right here. This cook, we had chipotle seasoning and some of that has stuck on and we had Parmesan cheese over here on the veggies and some of that is stuck too. So griddle's actually pretty dirty. Yeah, good time to show you how to clean. I just continue scraping, trying to get all the loose ends up. Now my griddle is, I've cooked on it several times this summer and it's pretty well seasoned. So not a whole lot sticks very much. Uh, more sticks on the side and the the back stop. I like to clean my griddle when it's still warm. That way we can nothing sticks that much and I've got it out of the way and it's cooling off so after dinner I can come back and just put the cover on it and empty the grease trap and it's ready to go. Everything will be cooled off and easy to handle. Sounds like the neighbor's hound dogs hunting right back behind us. Of course he would when I finally get time to make a video. The weather's been really kind of nasty here. Rainy and stormy the past few days. This is the first chance I've had to cook on the griddle for a while. Like I said, kind of get those sideboards nice and clean. So, the next step in my cleaning uh, regimen is I use a little something a little different than a lot of folks. I use just plain unflavored seltzer water to sort of steam clean my griddle, and it works really, really well. So, what I first do is... I'll start in the back back here and just kind of pour me a line. That's a little bit too much right there. But as you can see, it starts steaming up and boiling. Then I can just take my scraper here and sort of pull it up the sideboard. Kind of help sanitize. And then... I'm sort of done with the sideboard. I just bring it down to the grease hole. Might all. Uh, Give my blade here a little wipe with a paper towel. Again, I kind of start it right up here at the top. Usually right about now, I'll go ahead and cut the gas and burners off. Let it start cooling. But this, this seltzer water, it just really brings the grease and dirt and debris right off here. Hit one more time with the seltzer water, just kind of 
down a little lower. Never fails to, if I wanted to film a video, the neighbors have it sounding like World War III and let their hunting dogs out. And that's what the price of living out in the country is. I watch that, that water is extremely hot. So that's got the griddle sort of cleaned off, all the big debris gone. So now what I'll do is I'll just start taking paper towels and just sort of wiping up the excess debris and oil that sort of settles there in the corners where I can't get it with the scraper that well. If you, if you griddle, you know you go through and awful lot of paper towels i've got some cloths but they're in the laundry somewhere haven't seen them lately probably there for me to find and put away kind of get that grease hoe it looks a little grubby keep sort of Folding your towels over to use a clean, get a clean surface down. And there we are, folks. Now, at this stage, I know a lot of griddle chefs like to put a little coating of oil down to protect the surface until the next time they cook. But I tell you, my griddle's very well seasoned now, and I plan on using it pretty soon, maybe tomorrow if the weather holds out. So I don't think I'm gonna put any oil on it. I think I'm just gonna let it set as it is. I may come out here with a cloth and wipe down the sideboards, uh, but it's clean, ready to cool off, empty the grease trap, and put the cover on it. So here we are, a clean griddle is a happy griddle, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this will help you clean your vid griddle in the future, and be sure to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when we upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching.